Awesome. So this should be working. I am going to double check to make sure. Um, and when you watch this, please feel free to watch this in 2x speed with subtitles and all of that. And hopefully. Oh gosh. My audio sounds so funny. Sure. Whatever. My audio sounds funny. Maybe I can fix it. Let's see. Okay, so maybe that's better. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's see. It sounds like it's echoing everything. So maybe that's better. Testing, testing. Oh my gosh, that's way better. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's stick with that. So, Ali, hey, glad to have you helping out. Um, so the screen I have over here on my left um, is my, like, uh, I'm not logged into anything. I have no wallet here. So if I go to, like, wallet.near.org, uh, uh, I'm not logged in. I have, I have nothing showing here. Whereas on this side, on the right-hand side, I'm actually already logged in to amory.marmaj-819.testnet. And I have like sender wallet here, which you can kind of see hopefully in the top right-hand corner. And we can dig into that a bit later. But for now, um, generally when someone first comes and does not have a near account, um, uh, marmaj cards, they can go to marmaj.org slash marmaj cards and they can you know collect a marma j chan nft now this link should bring them to the new nft uh it does not bring them to the new nft uh there is a new one somewhere i'm actually curious where it is now babe where's the new nft link on the page do you know where the new link is on the page Do you know where the new link is on the page? I thought you said you put yeah, both up, right? Oh, do you mind switching them? Or, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is the one that's so you easier. Want that, like, at the top. Yeah, because the one at the top requires email and all the extra flows. Yeah. Okay. I'll switch that one. Okay. Sounds good. So at the bottom of the page, we have this wonderful link, which will be switched. So there you go. Uh, we'll, put, we'll put it at the top of the page. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Either way, it's just a bit different. So I can even explain the differences, even though they don't matter that much. Um, but here you can just create a wallet, um, and it'll let you create a near wallet up to two hundred and nineteen times, just about. And so you can write, you know, I wanna make NFT things, NFTs. Sure, I wanna make NFTs. Dot near, reserve my ID secret passphrase and these is my private key i can like pick one that looks cool to me so maybe like let's pick one that says like okay sure let's pick this one uh you know uh we'll copy it next word number one i already forget we're just gonna don't do this when you make yours oh yeah it's okay i just said that right I'm not even going to save that private key. So I'm just going to show you how it works to make this account. Um, and there you go. We're logged in on the near account and we can start doing some fun and cool things. Um, and anyway, obviously typical smart, you know, account security things. If someone gets your private key, they can take all your, um, all your assets. So if someone found that seed phrase that I just made, they could log into here. And uh, yeah, take all the stuff. But as it claims the NFT, now I can view it in my wallet and I'm logged into, I want to make NFTs.near. And so now if I go to mintbase.io, which I know you were already kind of doing, um, you're able to log in. I want to make NFTs.near. 
you know, this is so this is the storage amount. Um, now the applicant mint base will have uh, the ability to spend up to 0.25 near in my account. I don't even have 0.25 near in my account um, <laughs> because it's a brand new one. So we're going to say, yeah, sure. Mint base, you can do that. Why not? And now we are logged in to mint. Oh, sorry. I don't want to click that again. Let's see. There you go. I'll make it full screen so it's easier to see. At least on my end. I wonder what it looks like on the screen for you. Um, but anyways, I am logged in to I want to make NFTs dot near. And, and like you saw, you know, you can go to this little launch pad section. And you could start kind of making NFTs. And so because this new account uh, is not on any stores, I have to actually... Um, create a new store or be added to it so it takes five minutes to create one or you could be added to one so actually from my phone right here I'm gonna go so I'm on my phone right now <laughs> just trust me believe me I'm going to add this account I want to make NFTs to a store um, to speed this up a bit and so sure the Chloe store so I can go to the Chloe store go to the settings of the store um, add a minter and I'm going to add I want to make NFTs dot near so I am now in the settings I'm signing this transaction on the blockchain and now I can create NFTs on this new account that I just created so I'm going to refresh the page um, and there you go, chloe.mintbase1.near, I can mint here. There's nothing here, okay? So I can view the store, and I can see this is Chloe's, why didn't I put an apostrophe S there? I'll fix that too. That's going to drive me crazy. Okay, uh, store settings. Let's fix that. Chloe, apostrophe S, personal mints. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Let's refresh that again. Perfect. So even from my phone in seconds, I could fix that. Now it says Chloe's personal mints. Let's go back to YouTube so I can kind of see what's happening. Okay, so Chloe's personal mints. You can see who is a minter. Uh, so, you know, Chloe owns the store. Bianca, I want to make NFTs and Marlon don't need our minters. Um, you can check out a virtual gallery of the store automatically, right? So that takes a while but you can see like the song I wrote for my uh, son uh, for New Year's last year you can see different building blocks for crypto voxels virtual worlds you can see my uh, video about the Marma J foundation slash business card um, you could see the, the nails I got for my wedding uh, the first pixel art that I made on uh, a game that we're actually taking over on the near ecosystem where you can like draw pixel stuff and then yeah uh that's rebecca and i uh, oh speaking of rebecca in the discord rebecca is wanting to meet with you and stuff to whatever just talk and chill and support so yeah childhood best friend we got our nails done before the wedding i made an nft and uh, yeah and then you can load more so you can come here go to page two of two uh that's just uh, Bianca uh, drew that of me. That's a little Christmas party. We had uh, my mom and her, I guess, fiance now uh, invited us over to a Christmas party. So we made a little NFT invite. Um, yeah, so I just kind of use it as my little, what, I guess, what Instagram is used for, I guess, back in the day. Uh, my little personal, kinda, I don't use it enough. But uh, anyways, that is the auto-generated mint-based store uh, or, or virtual gallery on 3XR. And... Yeah, now I can start minting. So when I hit mint, I can literally just say I want to mint 19. Uh, I want to name them on boarding with, oh my gosh, why is that capitalized? Okay, well, it's going to stay that way. <laughs> um, description. Uh, what weird things to mint. Um, what file should I use? This is going to be fashion for sure. Uh, I don't even know what I downloaded here. Let's see what I downloaded. Uh, that's not cool. Oh, did I read? No, pictures. What pictures do I have? I don't have any fun pictures. Where's some fun ones? 
Music? Videos? Oh, there's nothing fun on this computer. Let's see. No, this is just like a work. It's like a, the Marmaduke Validator computer, so like there's nothing fun. But let's find something from the internet. That might be a little more fun. Uh, let's find something from... Let's just type in Marmor J and steal something. <laughs> Probably shouldn't steal from the internet. But, you know, actually, you know what would be really fun? Let's just go to Google, right click save. Marmor J, search on images, see what comes up. <laughs> I like this one. This is funny. Okay, save images. <laughs> I like this one the best. Uh, downloads, okay, uh, here we go. This stuff is fun too. This is like what the community um, does with Marmor J. Oh, there's a Marmor J store. Oops, I love the Marmor J store, it's my favorite. So um, when you create a store, in my opinion, this would be like kind of what you'd be able to make. Okay, this is taking forever to load. Uh, but yeah, let's just upload a file. Uh, downloads, index, <laughs> it's down. Anyways, uh, this is definitely fashion. Uh, you can put some tags like on boarding, uh, enter uh, Ali, uh, Chloe, Marmor J. Cool. Uh, Forever Media, you can put like a, you could put audio, you could put a 3D model. Um, so a fun 3D model that I like to use. Let's see if this is the proper one. No, this is the image one. Oh yeah, this is just an image. Cute though, right? Um, oh yeah, Forever Media. This is the video though. No, I wanted the... I don't know if this is on the website either yet. Let's check. Uh, if I go to Marmo J. Chan, I should be able to da la, 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 la. Nope, not here. I don't think it's here yet. Um, it's in the Discord. I don't feel like going to find it right now, but I want to use... You know what? I'll use a simple version of it. Let's go to this. Let's go back. Just for fun and, and you know. Oh, Forever Media could be. Oh yeah, images. Oh, gifts. Okay, fun. We'll use this gif right here. Um, we'll use this one, which is pretty fun. Save link as. Uh, save sure. And then. That's not gonna work. What was that? Sorry. Definitely gonna, oh, the 3D model's in here. Silly me. There it is. Okay. My bad, it was right here. Fervor Media is here on our weave. Ugh, okay. Um, now I could take this, perfect, forever royalties, I can, oh yeah, it's Ali Eve Knox, I'm like 90% sure, so we can give 1% to Ali Eve Knox, oh, yeah, if I spelled it right, oh look I did, awesome, and then like I have some presets, so Amory.near, uh, marmorjdow.near and I can say you know what if I'm minting it I want to make NFTs it's automatically going to get some but I can give one to like maybe like chloe.near and maybe I also give one to the artist that made the 3D file and so I can be like naughtyartist.near oh, yes that's the name awesome uh, and you can split revenue the same way. So Chloe, the store gets some revenue, my personal account, my Chloe, the dev, my hacking account, whatever. Uh, you could set, you could put dates in there. So I don't know what the date is today. Oh yeah, it is the 19th. Ha ha. Uh, you can make like a ticket. So like 19th to the 23rd, um, but, or you're just the 19th. Um, forever document, you can put a PDF in here if you'd like, max 30 megabytes. 
uh, location is pretty cool. So like J Foundation. You can like actually show where the Marble J Foundation is in Antigua. And you can see, you know, where the Marble J Foundation is. So you can be like, hey, uh, like actual what we're doing. You can be like, hey, uh, in uh, December 31st, we're going to have a party uh, until, or the hackathon, right? Uh, and so let's say for the weekend or whatever, uh, so like, what is it? I can't do math. So from the 31st to, uh, I don't know, the third, we're going to have a party. Um, and like description could even be like, what a weird thing to mint. We going to party, party. I don't know, man. Uh, but then you can just make this NFT thing. Uh, upload a PDF, maybe with like a flyer of the event. The website can be like marmaday.org slash events. Uh, ugh, it wants like HTTPS slash. Okay, and then like you can put custom key stores. So you can put like, you know, uh, what is this? I can't spell. I can't spell. Uh, really? Yes, I am terrible at it, you know. And then you can just be like, uh, you know, a tick <laughs> ticket. And what's ticket for? Uh, Marva J Con. And so like, basically what this is, is you're putting a, a value and you're storing something to it. So if someone wanted to look at what the ticket value is, it'd say Marmor JCon. And so if you wanted to say like, so different tickets could have different like charities attached to them. So you could put like, maybe the first batch of tickets has a charity of X, Y, you know, uh, or you know, feed the snakes uh, in the Arctic. I can't spell, I don't know, I'm not gonna fix that. Um, and then the next one, maybe a different ticket next year, it would still have the tickets key store and it would still be Marmor JCon, but maybe the charity would be different. And the idea would be that you can have a ticket from every year and see, you know, what the custom data is for the charity and then see. So even if it wasn't added in all this information, you would add quite a bit of information. Uh, when you've done all this, you say mint me. Uh, and it will just redirect straight to the wallet that you just made. Um, I want to make NFTs, but it will say you don't have enough near to do this. So I'm going to go back on my phone uh, and I'm going to send... Uh, you know, point one near to, oh my gosh, my, okay, the near wallet is super slow sometimes, very frustrating, but it's 44 cents worth. So I'm going to send 44 cents worth of near to I want to make NFTs dot near on my phone, by the way. So uh, a lot, my phone is kind of where I just kind of do all that sendy, sendy fun stuff. But awesome, it's in. So I can just refresh the page and now I have enough. Woohoo! And it shows you here like I have 0 0.05 available. So I sent 0 0.1 to myself. I only have 0 0.05 available because again, storage. So even though I actually have 0 0.1 near my account, I can't use it all. So, you know, so yeah. That's why I couldn't do stuff when I had zero in my account because you can't use it all. And more information shows exactly what's happening here. So what's happening is the fees are approximately this much, whatever. Uh, the fee limit, this is kind of like on gas, when you, on Ethereum, when you have your MetaMask and it says GUI or whatever. This is the GUI thingy, Mabob. But in near you get refunded what you don't spend. Uh, yeah, so if you spend like, you, say, you most people always say 300 because if you don't spend 300, you just get refunded the 250 you didn't use or whatever. So, and we're interacting with the Chloe mint base store. And what we're calling is the NFT batch mint function. So all that crazy stuff we were doing on mint base before is just to create this function. And so this function looks like this. Um, and so what it looks like is, you know, I want to make NFTs is going to own the NFTs. Uh, this wonderful reference here, this, this weird, crazy, shitty thing that we no one can understand, is basically just math and cryptography, uh, making it so that you can put a lot of data into a little string. So, yeah.
that doesn't even matter. Uh, but fashion, woohoo, it's going to be fashion. Uh, number to mint is 19, so we're going to NFT batch mint. Uh, the royalties are going to be split between Amory, Marma J. Dow, Ali Eve Knox, Chloe Dotnier, and Naughty Artist for 41%. And there's going to be split owners for Chloe, the store, right? The Chloe Dot Mint based one store, which we're actually interacting with. That's the actual smart contract. So anytime an NFT sells on the store, the actual smart contract, the actual store gets some money too. Uh, Chloe Dot Near, um, you know, Chloe the Dev Dot Near, 2819. And then I want to make NFTs gets the extra. So 96% ownership goes to I want to make NFTs and then 1% to all the other ones. And then I'm actually going to mint it because like, you know, why not? We're already here. We went through all this. We went through all this, right? And on mainnet, on near, I just made an NFT within, I don't know how long I've been doing this. Uh, I've been live for 21 minutes. Gosh, you better, you better watch this in 2x speed. Anyways, we went from having no account to kind of just putting point one near on there. We have our NFT. Um, you know, you can go to the thing onboarding with Ali, uh, and then I can put it for sale. I'm gonna be like, yo man, I wanna go to my profile, view my profile. How do I do this? What do I own? I own this? Okay. I wanna sell it. Where'd that sell button go? Maybe my screen's too big. Why is my, okay. Why are you being, why is this page being annoying? I'm gonna get frustrated now. Cause I know, anyways, it's cause like I own it, but it's just still, it should, it should be allowing me to like sell it from here, but it's being difficult. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go to like, what? You see how it shows the sell page and then disappears after? Like here. There we go. It was going to the... Th this is what we want. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> for some reason, it was redirecting through a bunch of pages. I don't know why. I don't have an answer for you. But here is what we're actually looking for. This token. So again, I'm going to try and do it again because no clue why that happened. But this is my profile for I want to make NFTs dot near and then I'm gonna click one of them and it redirect <laughs> sorry I'm gonna hit the back button I'm gonna tell them about this bug first anyways so <laughs> you might have hit the back button too um it's kind of funny I, I, <laughs> I'm gonna move on I move on uh but you can burn the NFT which means you want to delete it Right, you can burn one of them. You could transfer the NFT, so I could actually be like, "Yo, I'm gonna transfer one to Ali Eve Knox dot near." Damn! Now you got one of these NFTs. You're rich. Um, you're, you know, not really, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, now you can see that, you know, there's. Okay, I don't know why it's making it really difficult to... <gasps> Ooh, I know how to do this. I can hit multiple tokens, and then I can hit ID number 101, and it'll show me the... Yeah, see, there we go. And now I can sell it. So, for some reason, again, I think their page is broken on Mintbase, which I'll explain why we're not using Mintbase for everything, actually, right now, because this is why it's broken. Um, but we can set up an auction. We could say, hey... I want the minimum bid to be 8.19 near, um, 8.19, and we can make a listing, right? Redirect to the wallet, yada, 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 approve that. And now all of a sudden we have, okay, let's just type in like, uh, Chloe and go to stores. And if it doesn't take forever, then maybe I'll wait and I'll click the button. There we go. Uh, none of these are the actual Chloe store. The actual Chloe store is on the second page. Very interesting. Um, but you should be able to see only listed. And it should show. Perfect. So these are the entries that are for sale. This one's for sale right here. Um, it is an auction. And so someone could actually be like, okay, it's not showing the auction. Very interesting. 
and it's taking its sweet time to show the options. So let's just move on. Um, see thing. Um, so this part's kind of annoying, but I mean, I can just, you know, uh, rolling auction on this one. Okay, so 102. And I could say we're going to, so yeah, uh, rolling auction, one available. We're going to sell one at simple sale um, for 81.9. Oh my gosh. Make the stick. Awesome. Okay, and every time you do this, you go back to the wallet, you redirect, you approve it. And there you go. So if you were wanting to start minting some NFTs, um, this would be the process. You can have an account, you can mint NFTs. Um, you can know, see this thing again, put them for sale. And now I have, you know, one on sale for 81 near. I have one for an auction. And so someone can come out here and leave a bid. And so just to show what that looks like, you know, oh, you, anyways, never mind. I can't log in with sender wallet um, to mint base, sadly. Um, but yeah, I mean, this gives a pretty overall kind of view of how this works um astro dow dot com since i'm here and since you might actually watch this i'm actually i'm also going to show you quickly how you would actually like uh get funding for the marmaj dow so pretty much anything you do for the marmaj foundation um you can request uh a, a three marmaj per hour bounty so you know just do what you want and then be like oh you know whatever <laughs> Then um, we need to log in to this. Uh, I want to make NFTs. So let's say this was you. I want to make NFTs, and you you were like, "Okay, I did ten hours this week. I you know made some NFTs. I took some content. I watched Chloe talk on YouTube for way too long about random crap." Um, so sure, you know, let's say you spent ten hours doing that stuff. Uh, you'd come here, and you could only create a draft. I mean, you you Ali. Uh, can create more than a draft. You could actually create a proposal too, but people that are not on the council can only make drafts. And so they can say, uh, draft name, uh, my name is Ali, and I did things for Marma J. Al. And then in the description, you can be like, I spent 10 hours doing, you know, you can be like, listening to Chloe, ramble on YouTube five hours like that's a long time and then making NFTs on mint base and yada yada five uh, that's not a five and then you could be like okay well before this I'm gonna request some Mama J tokens and I'm going to request uh, no, that's not correct. 30 of them. <laughs> Three per hour. Uh, and then you'd be like, Ali Eve Knox. Oh my gosh. Dot. Yeah. And then you would just be like, save that bad boy. So literally, you could just, you know, log in to proposer would be Ali Eve Knox. Dot near. You would say what you did. Uh, so I like using weeks. You can use months. So you can be like, uh, August? monthly is great or you know what week of the year is it i don't know 33 i think yeah 33 so you can be like you know week 33 2022 and same difference do what you want so week might be 30 hours uh, 10 hours a week or if it's august maybe it'll be like you know 150 or something like that per month uh and yeah then you would have some marmaj tokens after we vote awesome so now we've kind of gone through, you have your account, your account would have some, well, if I refresh the page, you'll see some near in there. So good, you'll have some near, you'll have some Marma J, and then the next step is just to go to app.ref.finance. And you will be able to, remember, we're on a brand new account right now, so we gotta log in again for the first time. You can use Sender Wallet, which I really do like, um, but we will do the web wallet for now to keep things very simple. Uh, you'll log in, you'll say, yeah, 0.25 near, boost farms. You can use it. Remember, they're not actually gonna use your money, it's an allowance. So I have a tiny bit of near, um, and so just sh to show you one way, I cannot spell. Uh, so Mario is worth like five bucks, so if you were like, yo, uh, so I guess you've used Dai before in the Ethereum ecosystem. So if you were, you know, if you're doing 30, 10 hours a week, you'd be earning, 
around uh, whatever the, the amount says here. I don't know. I'm not good at math. Oh, I'm not that good at math, at least. And ref is so slow sometimes. It's super painful. Um, but if you wait long enough, it will show you the value. So it's changing. Like, this is, not, this is still not correct. Like, this is still not right. Anyways, yeah. This is just not correcto. Let's see what happens if I just do like that. There you go. Okay, so don't know why it's going that slow. But anyways, um, 30 Marma J a week would be around 150 bucks. It's not an insane amount. And there is quite a bit of slippage, right? Um, but that's kind of the idea. So the max amount per week would be 219. And you wouldn't want to sell it to die. The most liquid pair is ST near. Um, okay. Again, going very slow for some reason. I do not know why. But, okay. So someone would be able to request 219 uh, Marma J per week, which is around 233 ST near. Right, and so if we switched this around and we said this and we said die, you would be looking at around a thousand bucks a week max for three hours, uh, three more a day per hour doing stuff for the Marmaj DAO. So that's kind of how it works. High level, you know, you'd swap Marmaj to ST near, you'd swap ST near into whatever token you wanted, you could swap into die, then you could use the Rainbow Bridge to bridge to Ethereum. And use whatever you were used to using in Ethereum, right? You could be like, yo, take my near shit. Sorry, my near stuff. <laughs> and, you know, uh, send it over to Ethereum. And you just connect your near wallet, uh, connect your MetaMask wallet, right? And you can just transfer, right? That's what it's, it's really, you can send it to friends, right? So you can send stuff from a th so from near to a friend's address. So 0x my friend. Uh, from near so I mean whatever you want you know uh, it's kind of just up to you at that point but hopefully that gives it like an onboarding overview um, oh yeah last thing um, so mint base is great uh, it works kind of most of the time I suppose uh, let's close some of this random stuff um, but uh, spread the love dot gallery um, and then spread the love. Oops. So any smart contract on Mintbase can have a front end. So let's find the store. This is spread the love gallery. Expressions of love curated by Kalanka. These are the three stores. And this is all it looks like. You can't really change this whatsoever. But this you can change. So this is an application right we run this ourselves we can change actually quite a bit of this we, i mean i don't have time to be digging into this much it's made with gorilla shops but you can log in with near right i want to make nfts is going to log into this and so ali you could have ali eve dot knox i don't know if that's even a, a domain you could have i don't know um but anyways, you could have whatever URL you want. So we paid for this URL, 20 bucks a year or whatever. Spread the love dot gallery. It'd be awesome to have marmaj.gallery if we're talking about... That's her booty. <laughs> uh, where are we? Okay, no. Uh, Marmaj Chan. Stores. So one of the ideas, for example, is having another store just called, you know, marmajchan.gallery. It would look similar to this, but it would have all of these NFTs inside. You know, all of the NFTs that, you know, community contributors are putting together for uh, Marmaj Chan. And so if you had your own store, Ali, with your own vibe and your own theme and whatever you want, we could have a page like this where you know, we can, you know, obviously work with you and set it up and all the back end stuff and walk with you and teach you is a lot of stuff to do. Um, but yeah, that's the idea overall of kind of how to get started with Mintbase, what you might be running eventually one day to support the Marmaj DAO. 
you know, how the royalties from the NFT sales might support yourself, contributors, the DAO. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful. And if you have